Hi, I'm going to try to add my friend Brittany. We were talking last week and um, we were at retreat together and she was telling me about mood and I had a friend who was asking me about mood recently. I'm going to invite her and I wanted to talk to her specifically about, I remember that part of her story. So her story, Brittany's story has to do with mood and I wanted to ask her to talk to us about that because I have friends who ask me all the time um, when I mention something about how my mood got better when I balance my blood sugar. Hey, okay, let me see if I can add you. Hmm, usually it gives me like an option to add you. I invited you. See if you can check your notifications, Brittany. And, oh, here, I'm clicking add. Oh, good. Okay. Yay, hi. Hey. How are you? So cool, look at you, you're so <laughs> techy. I know. I'm like, wow, it's actually worked. It worked. <laughs> I have I've tried to. Oh, sorry. What did you say? I have no makeup on today. I just decided we're going to do this. Today's just been one of those days where I've been trying to get all the things done. And I love it. You look amazing. You're so sweet. Did you get your Costco run done? I did. It was kind of exciting because Idaho Falls has never had a Costco. And so I had to go wait in this hour long line to get my membership. And then I don't know that sucked it out of me a little bit. It wasn't quite it as then when I walked out, but yes, I was wearing that hat in my last video. I think I had that hat on earlier this week. I probably should. I love it. We should I have worked getting, Oh, that would have been funny. Yeah. I keep getting compliments on it. So me too. I, I already have and... a fingerprint though. I got, so I'm going to have to like, it's like up there in the corner. So I'm going to have to wash it already. I... The white. The white. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay, so let's get to the point. So I, when I heard your story and you talked about mood as being like one of the big ones for you, I thought, okay, I've got to share the story because whenever I mention the part of my story about having mood, uh, my mood improved, I feel like people are like, oh, really? Like there's something that can be done about that? Like it's kind of shocking. You just kind of think sometimes that our mood is bad because we're tired or because we're grouchy because being a mom is hard, not necessarily that there's something we can do about it. So I'd love to hear about your mood and, um, and why you started with these products and stuff. Oh, I'm so glad you invited me on. Hang on. I'm going to just grab a pillow because my phone, it turned out needed to charge. And so then I kind of okay. had to move to a different spot. And, but if I just get a pillow under my knees, I'll be so comfy. Okay. But, um, okay. So I, um, had really, I don't know. You, you talk about mood and I wasn't a girl that was super moody or cranky um, until I was. <laughs> it just kind of happened overnight. Yeah. Um, I just noticed all of a sudden um, I was having like these floods of anger come over me, which sounds really odd. But unless you experience it, it was just like, you know, like, of course, I got mad at things. But like all of a sudden I was having like an, an intense like ocean of like anger that was like I've never been this mad before in my life and it started happening to me like two or three times a day and it like the things I was mad about were not did not merit that kind of response if right. that makes sense yeah so it was like my kids spelled jam on the floor and I'm like furious <laughs> and it was just so weird because I'm generally a pretty like live and let live kind of person and um, I thought, well, maybe I'm just like growing more of a backbone. Like I'm really done with that jam on the floor, you know, <laughs> I kind of tried to explain it away. Um, but after a few weeks, I was like, no, I just feel really off. And so I was like, you know, I'm working late. I'm not getting great sleep because I worked in the ER at the time as an ER nurse and I was picking up late shifts and I thought, oh, I just, you know, I need more sleep. So I adjusted my schedule and I'm a yogi. So I was doing my yoga to try and get my Zen. I was like, dang it, we're going to get a shower every day. Like I just brought in all this self care because that's what we do when we find that our mood is so far off. Right. I'd, I had had bouts of like anxiety before, but nothing at this level and never with like this weird anger management thing that I had going on. Right. And so, <laughs> excuse me, school started. And it, I'm a homeschool mom. And it was like, we were not able to finish our school day like two or three days a week because of my outbursts. And so here I am, I'm at this crossroads of just like, 
what am I going to do? Like, I love homeschooling. I love the homeschool life, but I am like killing our learning environment every day because like, you know, kids are kids. They don't obey perfectly. And for whatever reason, I was just, I was not in control of my mood. And it was, it was to the point where I was thinking that maybe we would need to stop homeschooling because I was just like, I, I can't do it anymore. This isn't fair to my kids, you know? So we go to this play, my husband and I, and the older kids went to Annie because we had a family member that was in it. And um, after the after the play, we got home and the kids did something and I started shrieking at them. And like, I I do, you know, I'm a normal mom. I'll yell at my kids. But like, this was like, you know, those yells that like come from deep inside of you that are like guttural <laughs> sounds of like, you didn't even know you had that in you. Like, I'm yelling at them, and my husband just looks at me, and he goes, dang, you kind of sound like Miss Hannigan from the show, mm -hmm. and I was like, I can't believe you just said that, and I start crying, and he's like, are you okay, and I'm like, no, like, something is so off, I don't know what's going on, but it was kind of the breaking point for me, where I'm like, okay, it's not just me that notices it anymore, like, my husband's like, who are you, you know, where's my girl, and um, so there I was, rock bottom, found plexus, did the research to find out that gut health plays a huge part in your serotonin production. And I was like, that makes sense to me. If my serotonin is off, then clearly it could be harder for me to maintain a, a stable mood. Um, so I just on a leap and a prayer, not a whole lot of research, honestly, just um, kind of knew the basics and jumped and right. um, was able to resolve those mood symptoms rather quickly. Within two to three weeks, I was feeling like my old self again. Wow. So and that, that was, was, that was gut health. Quick. And, and sugar balance a little bit or mostly, what, did you start on the triplex? I started on triplex plus vital biome. Okay. Vital biome has all those strains yep. of clinical, yep. clinically proved bacteria for mood. Right. So I knew that would be an important product for me. Okay. Um, so I started on those four, but the thing, you know, I was really like, I hadn't really married the fact that I had mood issues. I mean, I know I, I was reaching for help for that, but I, I still was like, no, I'm not identifying with this symptom because my whole life I hadn't had crazy mood, you know, and it just kind of came on so quickly and was so intense that I had to like make something change. But I wanted to treat gut health more like an antibiotic. I wanted to be one and done. Okay. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And um, so I was, I was kind of thinking like, oh, I'm just going to do this for like a month and like find my Zen. And then like, I'm going to be done with that, you know, like, and, um, the thing that turned my head that convinced me to keep staying on the products was my sleep improved 120%. Okay. okay so what were you having? What was happening before and what changed for you with sleep? Yeah. So I would, I would go to bed at a decent hour, maybe, you know, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And I would just lay in bed for two hours at least, and just like wish that I was sleeping, but I wasn't. And um, what I found on the products is that I could fall asleep quite quickly, you know, more like in the 10 to 20 minute range. And um, that turned my head pretty hard because um, I didn't well, realize that that. In talk about improving your mood when you're sleeping and then just gaining productivity back in your day, not to lay there and waste time. Exactly. I mean, it's huge. Uh, and there's so many people that have a hard time falling asleep or they wake up in the middle of the night and they lay there for hours at night. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. And you're tired. Like we're moms, we're exhausted, but right. well, yeah, so like it's anxiety, right? I can't right. fall asleep. I'm anxious. So. Right. Okay. So you probably, when you first started, you were like, oh my gosh, I don't want to, you don't want to spend money on this, on the supplements. It was probably kind of like a process to get <laughs> around the fact that this is what I need. This is what I need to nourish my body all the time. I'm going to have yeah. to just accept this as part of my yeah. new normal. Yeah. And the improvements on the sleep was just like, it, they, it sold themselves. I was just like, you know, I didn't need anybody else to tell me and teach me about the importance of lifelong gut health. It was like, I never want to not sleep like this. So right. I want to keep taking my products. And I was annoyed about it. Um, my right. husband, I love him. He's a great provider, but he's very strict on budgets. He's very like, he loves budgets. And yeah. so for me, it was, it was one of those, you know, husband, wife fights that are like, 
yeah, actually, there's a new budget line, and it's called Brittany's Mental Health, and um, deal with it. <laughs> well, I know you would love to invest that money, but, like, guess what? This is the tool I need to do my job as a homeschool mom. I can't right. do it without my mood being stable and without me taking care of myself in this way. So, you know, there was a few months of turmoil about it, and then um, and then we all were okay with it. So, <laughs> And then, do I, does he use the products yet? I have never okay. asked him. Yes, yes. So he, a year later, I was like, I am sleeping. I am sleeping less than him. Like, I would go to bed after yeah. him, and I would wake up before him, and my energy was fantastic. Right. Not that, like, I still need to sleep. I like seven hours plus of sleep. You know, I'm not, like, not sleeping, but I noticed he was sleeping more like nine hours, and I was sleeping <laughs> about, oh, sorry? Yeah, no, same. Me too. I, I love yeah. him else is the same yeah I was the same way and I was like yeah I was like this could be better for you like you know and once again we're talking to Mr. Budget so he's like I am not spending that kind of money and I'm like babe what's two hours more of productivity like what is that worth to you you know right right like pennies so he he gets on the products and um you know initially he's like oh I can't you know I can't tell anything after the first month yeah they don't really work for me and I'm like just keep going it's okay just keep going well the biggest thorn in his side um it was allergies and so I was so excited for him to go through his first allergy season he can't stop talking about it like he's the guy that used to just pump the Claritin D um was always you know just three weeks in the summer, three weeks in the fall that is just constantly um, having troubles with his allergies. And um, I think he popped two like all summer. And um, that was when we were up in the mountains camping when things were a little more severe as far as sure. allergens go. Cause he's, he's usually just so allergic. So that was awesome to be like, gut health. It's so amazing. I, I love the, I love the science behind it. Um, Finding the um, finding the science about the allergies. Can I share that with you? It's my yeah, favorite thing. Go ahead, nurse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ahead. Okay. So, so it really is my favorite thing. So, um, you've got you know we're we're outnumbered our microbiota to human cells, which I'm sure this isn't new to you, but um, so you've got ten um, ten non-human cells for every human cell you have, and we're all in the same game of like we all want to be alive and we all want to thrive. And when you have the right ratios of healthy bacteria to not healthy bacteria, then that healthy bacteria actually educates your human cells um, so that it knows what to trigger to allergy wise, because what's good for your human cells is good for the microbiota as well. And so when you have that right ratio, then they're able to properly educate. And so then all of a sudden we're not triggering to things like grasses in the air. We can just trigger to, um, you know, whatever, whatever we, whatever those histamines are for in the first place, you know, something that's really going to bug us. So um, just huge, huge decrease in his allergies, which has been awesome. The other thing that I love about our products is the fiber that's in them. Um, because um, when you give your body all of that good fiber, your microbiota, which once again, they're just trying to live, they're just trying to live and be happy. And if they get that good fiber, then they're able to get the nutrition that they need. And they don't have to live and feed off of your um, mucosal mucus barrier in the gut. Um, and so all of that good fiber that comes from like complex carbs or our products is huge. Um, and just helping them stay healthy, we want them healthy so that they can do their jobs to help ourselves out. So anyway, well, I think the nerdy it's nerdy science that I love. That he still had, he had two days he took uh, Claritin D. Like, I think it's yeah. important that with natural supplementation, it doesn't mean everything's going to go away 100%. You're not going to be perfect. You're not going to never get sick. Um, your hormones are not going to be perfection. You still have hormones. We still have allergies every now and then. It's the, like you said, the three week time where you couldn't go to work before, or I couldn't, you know, I used to not be able to go to school because my eyes would water so bad. I'd sneeze so much. I literally couldn't stop sneezing to focus. So I couldn't go to school. So that ends, but then you still have, I mean, I'm still going to sneeze every now and then. That doesn't mean it's not working. That means that it you decrease your symptoms from where they were intolerable and you can't live down to a manageable level where you don't really even notice them. They don't change your, your life anymore. I know. I love the nerdy science too, Nicole. I love it. Um, yeah, you'll have to go back and listen. Um, her story is great, but she's a nurse and I love her science. But the same thing with hormones, the same thing with allergies, you know, all of the things. Um, it's just bringing it down to a level that's reasonable and 
um, comfortable, right? So that our life is, we can live life. the whole point is to live your life and enjoy your life and not, um, you know, be a slave to your symptoms. Um, okay. Right. So I have one more question for you too about paying for your products because now there's no issue with paying for your products, right? You get your products paid for, right? I do. Yeah. 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 So, well, that was actually about the same time that my husband, you know, I was really, I was really motivated to get him on the products because I was just like, look, more energy and just better health in general. If there's any advice my husband has, it's that he is a workaholic. He like business is a game to him and he will just work, 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 and maybe not focus on his self-care too much. And it's like, you know what, one step could be would just you be supplementing and putting some good things in your body. And so it was really important to me for him to be on the products, but um, I realized when I was so passionate about getting him and also my children on the products, I was like, if I, if it's this big of a deal to me for my whole family to be on the products, I want, like, why wouldn't every family want these products? And so that's when I decided to start promoting. Um, I love, you know, I love everything about the Plexus products and, um, and I wanted my family to have access to them. And so at that point started, uh, started telling people about how great they were and, um, shortly was able to get our family's products paid for and now even more. So it's been a great blessing to That's my family. I'm so glad to hear that. So we were just, we just spent time together at the retreat and I was so glad to see you. And I was, it was so nice to meet you earlier this year too. when I met you, I, just, I remember, I remember, you know, sitting there hearing your story and I loved it. And so I'm glad you could share it. And I'm sure you're going to help other people with your story. Oh, thank you. Our momzilla <laughs> and need, need some help. I, I often kid that some on the products, I feel like my voice is like, I, I don't recognize myself, how patient I'm being. Cause I'm getting a little irritated inside, you know, cause it's hard to be, uh, patient and kind all the time but sometimes I'm like oh my gosh who is that person talking so sweetly and so calmly to my children <laughs> you're like whoa yeah whoa. <laughs> I'm calm and I'm so proud of myself for how calm I am not to say I'm not for you know I'm not I'm not perfect but um oh for sure and I'm not either like I feel like people hear my story and they're like oh wow right like, now you're an amazing mom just because you took vital biome and I'm like no, like I still yell at my kids. Let's be clear. But where I was at was unhealthy, you know, and was not, like I said, it was not going to be compatible for us to continue homeschool because who, what child can learn when they're scared, you know, right. and the emotional responses that I was having because my gut was imbalanced because I didn't have the right hormones working for me. Um, you know, it just, it wasn't going to work. Something had to change. So it's huge, huge lifestyle saver for us that we found Plexus. Awesome. And, and yes, I still do. I still get mad at my kids. I am human, <laughs> but I, but I don't scream at them like I did and make my throat hurt and, you know, right. I, 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 actually, school day. <laughs> I had like something wrong with my throat and it was actually that I was screaming at my kids too much. That's terrible. It's terrible. Um, no, but it's, it's real life. It's Yeah. It's real life. You're a nurse. Do you have anything else sciencey that you'd love to geek out on that you can share with us that maybe we haven't heard before about? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I love, uh, I'm like, I'm like no. all of it. All of it's amazing. I love, um, I love our um, decrease in inflammation products, especially the ease. Um, I feel like it's just so amazing that, um, you know, the, that product the ease product taken on an empty stomach just goes in and finds inflammation and just eats it up. Um, I, yeah, I'm just always ex amazed. So Sorry? it needs to be done with an empty stomach, right? Tell us how it works. Yeah. Yeah. So if you take your ease product, it's just a, a bunch of anti-inflammatory. So it's got turmeric and it's got um, green, green muscle. Lift muscle from New Zealand and a few other anti-inflammatories, just all squashed into one pill. Yeah, yeah you've got it right there. Yeah. Bromelain, Mm-hmm. Arrogant. Right. And I think it's the serapeptase that's so powerful in going in. And so you take it first thing in the morning. And I like to keep those ones in the freezer because it has the green-lipped muscle in it. It's a little bit, um, the smell of it bothers me a little bit. But when I keep it in the freezer, it doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> and then um, basically it just goes in and, and it finds proteins, the proteins that are in your inflammation. And it will just digest that for you, just help you take care of that. So people are finding way less pain, especially my autoimmune community, 
so much success with the ease. Um, as well as, um, you know, if you start on the triplex and you start to have some detox symptoms because we're, we're killing off that bad bacteria, that's actually an inflammatory process. And so the ease comes in and just helps eat up that inflammation. I have had two people with some pretty severe autoimmune um, issues that have had just so much uh, detoxing was so much easier for them once we added in the ease because they were having all of this increased joint pain. Once we started triplex, we're killing off all that yeast and guess where it's settling. All that detox and inflammation is settling in their joints. And so the ease comes in, takes care of that, makes detox so much more tolerable. Um, that was my husband's first number one product that he decided he liked because he um, just deals with some chronic pain, period. And he's like, please never let us run out of that one because it's right. just such a game changer for him. So um, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't think I've told you anything like life changing, Tori, but no, but that's yeah, I love it. That's great. I've had friends who have, um, you know, I feel like sometimes we don't notice when we feel better, but we notice when we feel terrible. And so sometimes as we start yeah. feeling better, unless we write it down, write down our wins, we forget. And so I've had friends who've stopped taking ease and then they realize, oh my gosh, it was. <laughs> And they run out. Yeah. I have this on hand now for anybody local in case somebody runs out and wants to hurry over to my house and get some because it's happened before. And that's how you realize it's working sometimes when you start to back down and you realize it's working. But lowering mm -hmm. um, or it, it helping your gut health, helping your um, blood sugar balance, you know, managing all of those things also helps with inflammation in general. But this is a great like fast start. Get that inflammation under control right away and keep it under control. My headache people mm -hmm. love it too. And my joint people um, love mm -hmm. it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Thank you, Brittany. I'm so glad we got to chat for yeah. a minute today. Me too. Thank you so much. I'm so glad I, I forgot that you were an ER nurse. So I love that. Oh, so, oh yeah. yeah. So many nurses thank in our, you. so great. I love the science part. So thank you for sharing that. True, true, true. Okay. Enjoy okay. The um, you too, friend. Okay. Have a good one. Bye.